Okay, let's continue. I got interrupted by someone. So we were at looking at the JS object is actually going to use the method add error message from which is in the glide system API and is going to allow us to display a certain message which is like when the condition here is true which is the data in the path which is like the data if, if it is in the path uh, just display this message when needed date cannot be in the past your request uh, has not been saved to the database that's the this line is doing very simple and the last one is the current object which is the object going to access the glide record class again class api here and above more about class so two different things and here we have a method called set about action true which is actually going to interrupt any sort of database operation so if you put that data is not going to be inserted in the database operation <coughs> sorry in the database is not going to be sent so if you have to put it in, in between brackets true as a value in order to execute this line of the code okay let's now start to write this code this entire line of the code and then see if um, if it is working or not okay so the way we do it I go to studio as you can see here this is uh, need IT application so I need to open another one which is need IT base which doesn't have any server development no category here of set of business code so we have to create one we have to click on create application file and you type bu and you have business rule which you can create it's going to open a form where you can enter certain information so i'm going to just go back to the training here pick up the just the title boom and now we are going to use the need it base it's going to be advanced which allow us to going to write our script in this area and it's going to be a before business rule so remember you're going to put some data and update that data to send to the database it should be run before these two operation okay and we are going to select insert when a record is created when i'm going to put as well update when you update something okay before i'm going to test on an existing record that's why i'm choosing here update and you click on advance here is the part we're going to add our code i mean i'm going to write the code not add the code so the first thing we're going to create a variable which is called right now equal to new glide date time brackets okay so this line of code allows us to take the time of the system and put in the object variable right now then we are going to create another one which is when needed equal to new so the same line time but this time we are going to send some parameters which is current dot when needed field name right if you remember <clears throat> this part of the code is taking the time that we have on the form level on the field level okay now we have to write the if condition the if condition is going to test if when needed dot before this is the method of the glide record and you put in between brackets the object right now that we have created which contains the current time is going to return either true or false if it is returning true it should execute what we have in between the curly brackets okay the first thing what we have to do is to display a error message message so we are going to use the glide system gs object and which is going to access the method add 
error message and we put our information the message in between the curly brackets so I'm just going back here just copy paste this line I don't want to take that time to write just make it faster and so I'm going here up when needed date cannot be in the past your request has not been saved to the database so that's the message that we want to put so GS uh, object and add another add error message method of apply to call so now what we have to do once the message is done we have to stop the operation the database operation in order to do that we're going to do current and about um, set about action and in between we're going to put true as a value this piece of line this row is going to stop the database update operation when you put the true so right now everything that we have written here i guess is proper no error message there are no red things here which says you have written something wrong but you have to be very careful if you put small letters or big ones or if you change anything it's not going to happen uh, so just i'm j just making sure if everything is correct so i guess here is proper so i'm gonna submit which is going to create an application file now here so you can see here server development business row need it when needed field date is created now is the time to test if this exact code is going to work so our expectation is if i entered if i'm entering a date and if it is in the past on existing record because i have chosen here update as well so i'm going to test that on an existing record in the need it base application so if i put a past date it should trigger two different uh error message well one but the other one will come for this line of the code so let's just uh, see that if that thing is happening or not so i'm going to choose this one like january something like this now update so this is as you can see here we have the error message when needed date cannot be in the past request has not been saved to the database so perfect our code is running perfectly this one is proper is checking the data if it's in the past or not so if it is in the past, it's giving and it's stopping invalid update. This one, it's coming because we have set this line. So this is invalid. So I'm not going to update this information into the database. Database. Proper. Let's now put a date in the future. Okay. Should not trigger any information. Okay. Perfect. It's updated. So it's working perfectly if you work, if you are. If you put a date in the future, it's gonna update, but if you put the date in the past, it's gonna display the message. So, thanks for watching. Hope you got the understanding of this entire code of a lot of different elements playing here. We have class, APIs, objects, conditions, and methods used in a certain way in order to make one thing, which is checking the date if it's in the past or not. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.